Oh, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Hey, y'all. Well, um, I am so excited that it's Friday. I can't even, mm, I can't even express my excitement because I love the weekends. I actually feel like I live for the weekends. Not really, because that sounds like you don't enjoy each day. And I try to take each day, but uh, I just love the weekend because there's no school. I don't have to get up at 545. <laughs> Yay. Or 630, whatever it is. It, it varies. Um, and I just, it's just, it's just chill. It's like calm. Um, I mean, even though like everybody's doing their own thing, there's just a different calmness to the weekend. Anyway, I love the weekend. And, um, I wanted to, sh I want, well, and for sure we have to, I keep fooling with my little, I don't know if you can see my hand. That's good luck. Um, but I tried a different margarita mix and I wanted to show y'all cause I don't even know. I mean, Jose Cuervo, isn't that like world famous or I don't know what you call it. Like, can't you get it everywhere? Cause it's from Mexico. So probably y'all have the same drinks there, but I buy, and I've showed you this before. I buy this already mixed up. Look, it says, uh, I forget. It says something. A light margarita, classic lime. Anyway, it's the whole thing. It's the alcohol, everything. And the favorite part is 95 calories. Yeah. Well, it's delicious. It's amazing, amazing. And I like to put it like a lime slice, real lime slice, and squeeze it in mine. It's even better. Um, but so when I was there for uh, the grocery, and you can get this at drugstores anywhere. But when I was at the um, grocery store, because it was Cinco de Mayo, they were out of it. So I said, oh, let me try one they had on display. And it's, I don't know if Jimmy Buffett owns this, but it's called Margaritaville. Can you see that? And I'm not even sure, I don't know who makes this. I, I don't know, I don't know what alcohol company, but it's Margaritaville. And it's skinny margarita and it's 95 calories too. And I was like, well, great. I love like, you know, I like Jimmy Buffett's song, Margaritaville. Um, and I thought this has got to be just as good. And it, no, don't buy this. Not to be rude. Some people might like it, but I prefer the Jose Cuervo. I'm going to take this back actually, because you can see it's one glass and I didn't even finish it. It's just not, um, I don't know. It's like, would you say like maybe a little um, bitter or something? Anyway, that was just my little, uh, what would you say, tidbit for alcohol today. <laughs> that came off wrong. I didn't mean it like that. But I do have my glass of Jose Cuervo. And this is, let's say, oh, did you hear that? Listen to that again. Yeah, that's my glasses. And I don't know what this one says. Oh yeah, this is if the music is gonna dance and I always like to have this one because I love to dance. Speaking of dance, Okay, everyone, this saying is amazing, and I've said it a million times, but I just want you to, this be your mantra this weekend. Um, dance like no one is watching, sing like no one's listening. Do that this weekend, and then it says live each day like it's your last, but to me, I'm just saying dance like no one's watching. Sing like no one's listening, and just let it out. Oh, and I heard on the news last night that laughing has been proven to be as effective as any drug for pain it does something in your brain so all these you know people who are like oh you're so silly or god you know be more serious no thank you no don't want to because actually it's way happier and it's proven now that it does something in your brain that actually puts out some chemical that makes you healthier happier and you don't feel pain oh so, you know, um, Marilyn Monroe also said something about, you know, being, I forget, but be, being absolutely ridiculous. Oh yeah, being absolutely ridiculous is better than being absolutely boring. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, honey. Okay, also, I, sh I showed you the flowers out in my garden. And so this is, I have these little mint julep cups because in the South, that's a very Southern drink, a mint julep. I don't really like it. It's made um, with hard, um, I think it's scotch. And I don't just don't really like the flavor of it, but I love the cups. I like to make any kind of drink, but hello, this I put flowers in. And um, all of these flowers, I don't know if you can see, like all these different ones, 
came out of my garden. Uh, oh, and I like this variegated plant. It's just kind of cool to put in there. Anyway, uh, I just thought that was kind of cool. And I love to have them just all over the house, like little vases. Like I have them in the bathroom, I have it in the study, have some in my bedroom. And they're little flowers. They're not like big flowers, but I think they're really, I don't know, charming to have all over. Well, um, it seems like there was something else I was going to tell you. Um, but I just really wanted to say, hey, and I am definitely speaking into the universe. Um, good things, positive things. There is a lot of, of y'all that I'm talking to recently, and um, I know good things are happening for you, and um, I just think it's, it's just timing. And so for me, patience is the hardest thing. And just, you know, you not just wait, don't just sit there and wait, keep doing things, but um, just basically be open to what is your calling, what is your destiny, and put out the good, put out the kindness. Just go out, if you don't do this daily, just go out and one, one place, one person, say something kind and something nice to them and see if it doesn't come back to you. I've done it all day and it keeps coming back and I love having conversations. I had a conversation with the, um, Jill at the Groomer. She's amazing and we had a big conversation about how, you know, there seems to be a group of people that are vocalizing at least about being kind and happy. And um, then I talked to um, the people at Starbucks and the um, Taylor and, um, oh, Stephanie at Planet Beauty. Yeah. She's amazing. I need to video her again. She looks Swedish. Um, but she's just really, you know, it's the law of attraction. I'm telling you, you're just attracted to these people. And um, good comes, good comes. Just in having a conversation with people, which, you know, I love. Who doesn't love to talk to people? I do. Um, anyway, you guys, be kind, be loving, keep up the good work, keep up the fight. And um, I don't know why this happens every time I video. And good, good things are now, and the best is yet to come. Much love.